What's good? Y'all know what the business is. We back. It's the Boston Clinic and more. Shout out to the whole LDBC. And we back with another one. You know what I'm saying? And should Errol Spence Jr. crash the Danny Garcia, Sean Booster Porter party uh, when they fight and pull up on them and call them out, even if the Mikey Garcia fight is finalized and done and signed and, and gone? Yes, he should. You know, if, if Sean if Sean Porter and Danny Garcia is left up to if it's left up to them, excuse me, to make the decision whether to fight Earl or not next, well, we know what they decision gonna be. It's gonna be able to go to Birdo, Lippy Yes, Broner right. They're gonna try to go every route besides the Earl Spence route. All right. Um and that's a fact. So Earl Spence needs to take it into his hands and kind of take a page out of Sean Booster Porter book. You know what? Sean Porter said, you know what, man, this dude ain't fighting me. I've been waiting around three years for Danny Garcia. And he pulled his whole card in Vegas in front of everybody. He jumped out of character. Before that, he did the Racho, uh, Macho Randy Man Savage thing. And, and he stepped outside of his character. And I and I commend Sean Porter on that. He deserves to be called Sean Porter when it comes to that. He stepped out of his truth. He said, you know what, man? I'm not getting no younger. You know what? These guys ain't trying to fight me or Danny don't want to fight me. Let me let me go up and pull his whole card and see what's good. Not only did he do that, he pulled up on Keith Thurman, man. Like, man, when you coming back, man? I need my shot. So he he had time that weekend, that whole time that weekend he had for them. So Earl Spence got to look at him and say, you know what, man? I know I feel like I'm Gary. I know I feel like Gary Russell where I'm just I'm a I'm kind of above doing that. You know what I'm saying? I know my abilities and I know my abilities going to take me far. And I'm just, it's kind of snobbish, snobbish what him and Gary do. Like, I know I'm better than these fools. I'm not going to uh, cloud chase or I'm not going to uh, or go in there and, and make it seem like I need them. I'm better than them. I know I'm going to whoop them. That's how Gary look at Santa Cruz, Maraz, Frampton, Quig. That's how he looks at them guys. I'm better than y'all. I'm not going to call you out by name. I say, anybody that got a title, I want to unify. I call them out. They ducking me. I'm not going to call them out by their name. Earl Spence has that same grown man confidence as Gary Russell. But sometimes, in, in this generation, you got to pull these dudes' whole cards in front of the whole world to see and say, when are you going to fight me? When are you going to fight me? What's up next? I'm going to get my shot next. I'm going to handle my business versus Mikey. Let's get it on, man. Ain't none of that business and, and voluntary. I want my shot next. And sometimes you got to get in their face and give them that face time and, and punch your ticket. Sometimes, man, your ticket ain't going to get punched until, unless you punch it yourself. Unless you got to be a go-getter. And that's a hustler's mentality. Only really city slickers understand, man. You know, I'm from Detroit. We got some of the most famous hustlers, man. You know, the most famous hustlers, man. So that's just in um, body. That's in our blood to be uh, be hustlers. Even the most squares, nerdiest dudes got hustle in their ability. They know how to go out there and get it. In their body, excuse me. They know how to get it. Earl Spence gonna have to, you know, mustered up that and just go go get it, man, and be a hustler. And if he don't, you know, people gonna question, do he really want it? People question about Gary Russell, do he really want it? They just feel this arrogance. They just feel like it's beneath them to have to do that. But Lara, he did it to Canelo and got the fight. Sean Porter did it to Danny Garcia and got the fight. Sometimes this is different ages and different strokes for different folks, man. Sometimes you got to pull up on these guys and let them truly know how you feel. And I want my shot. Why you been ducking me? He calls them out by name in other interviews and behind the scenes and in the hallways. Now it's time for you to get gutted with these dudes and get ruthless. You're 29, 28 years old. You ain't getting no younger. Go for it now. You know what I'm saying? Go for it now, and if it don't work after you press them, at the end of the day, you call a spade a spade, you call a pussy a pussy, you call a vagina a vagina, you call a punk a punk. And you say, you know what, I did everything in my power to make that fight happen. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and move on and go a different route and do what I does. But it's imperative for Earl Spence to go pull their whole card, man, and get in the ring and, and take a page out of Sean Porter book. Keith Thurman has done it, you know, going to Paulie press conference and calling him out in the concourse of arena, saying Amir Khan is a punk. You know, but all I ask for guys that do that, keep that same energy when you the hunted, when you no longer the hunter. When Keith Thurman was the hunter, he didn't keep that same. When he, he he didn't keep the same energy when he became the hunted. And keep that energy though. But man, it's the Boston Clinic and more. Y'all know what the business is. We grind it one time for the one time. Make sure you check us out on all social media: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All links in the description. S twelve ten College Sports Most Wanted. We dropping work on there. We going heavy on there now, man. Now that high school football is starting Friday and Saturday. Now that college is coming back, we going super heavy on there. College sports galore, all right? And some high school as well. Also, man, check uh, check us out at the Raw and Cut podcast featuring the Cali Enigma and myself. 
We're going to get dropping back some episodes by like Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to get on the hop. So I know y'all been waiting on it. So make sure you go over there, hit the link, download the free app, subscribe, comment, and catch up on 11 episodes that talks about everything, right? From politics to boxing to NBA to, to racism to Takashi 69 or LeBron, man. We, we already touched on a prefla of, uh, uh, of topics as well. And also join the Facebook boycott group. We're going to stream fights that we deem that need to be boycott to promote the best fight and the best in boxing. Go ahead and check all those links out in the description. If you want to donate, the PayPal link is there. Shout out to the Super Chats. What up, though? Y'all know what the business is. We gone.